what is up lads full time menace here bringing you my first video on this channel and this is going to be a commentary about the zombie apocalypse if it were to happen in real life and what I would do in that kind of situation where I would go what weapons I would choose but first quick note about this gameplay it's not mine if you want to know who has it go down and check in the description good channel good gameplay good everything Um. <coughs> Well, the first weapon that I would get, it wouldn't actually be a gun because in Ireland they're illegal and hard to come by. And the first weapon that I'd use is any sort of a knife. Maybe like a hurl with a knife on the end of it, like sell it, tape it on. It'd be really good. The place where I would go. Now, this is an important one because my dad is a camera and he has all these different kind of tools, saws nail guns hammers anything you could think of to kill a zombie you could get it in his workshop i'm serious he even has stuff that don't even relate to carpentry he has stuff for metal work and everything so that he could start burning zombies heads off and all it'd be lethal and he has this van that you could reinforce with steel or whatever you needed to reinforce windows stop zombies from trying to crawl in Reinforce the sides in case of flips and all, and reinforce the bumper. Give us spikes, give us something that could kill the zombies while you drive into them, and it would be really effective. No one's gonna get in their car. The only thing that would be hard to come by would be petrol. So I'd get in that, come down to like petrol station or gas station for you Americans if you're watching this. Um, and pretty much camp it out there so that I can have all the petrol I need to make anything. I could use the electricity in my dad's car then because you know if it's a zombie apocalypse there's going to be no electricity and that's probably what's going to cause it. And you might be thinking oh yeah no electricity isn't going to cause zombies but maybe it's not going to be a zombie apocalypse maybe it's just going to be human apocalypse yet yeah. everyone has no electricity they're fighting over every little thing that they can get fighting over food fighting over resources like maybe wood metal stone anything that you could use to build your house they're gonna be fighting over that fighting over land that's gonna be a huge one because the area and where you are in this zombie apocalypse is gonna play a big part in whether you survive or not like if I'm going to the petrol station I'm going to be sorted but a lot of people are going to be coming there to try and take that away from me and some of the old grandads and all they might have their guns from the war the 1916 they got past the 1916 rising the guns that maybe got passed down from their fathers or their grandfathers to them and they probably don't work properly they might be little crappy guns and pretty much may as well be using a water pistol but the next place where i would go into my dad's van and i would go to one of those fishing slash hunting slash camping um shops and i would get myself some knives some tents some uh, <laughs> some things to help me fish because food is gonna be hard to come by and if you know how to fish you're gonna have a meal Um, <clears throat> then there you can find other kinds of weapons like bird killing rifles which I think are legal over here they're not powerful enough to kill a human but they can kill a bird Um. I would get airsoft rifles, paintball guns, because they hurt like a motherfucker if you get an expensive one. And in this time, money's not going to be worth anything, so you're pretty much stealing from everybody, creating your own stuff from scratch. And then I would head off to the local Tesco's and just break in there with all my new weapons and just start causing mayhem, showing people in the face and then I'd be getting my food that I need to survive I would pack the shit out of my dad's van with dry foods that don't go off, canned foods anything frozen foods that I could keep frozen somehow I'll figure out a way, I'm a genius you know 
straight A student. Um, uh, the next thing I would do is save up and get enough dollars to go over to the random box and purchase myself a sexy ass new gun that I could use to kill some more people, get some more food, get some more anything that I need to survive because that's going to be my main goal to help me survive and my family and friends survive. Um, well I probably won't even have that many friends anymore because we'd be all fighting over resources for each other's families, food for each other's families and anything that could help you survive, weapons, anything. The next thing that I would do is I would save up so that I can get 3 grand and then buy Juggernaut. Imagine how that would feel, feeling invincible and it would take 10 hits of something straight to the head just to get you down on the ground and you're not even dead, you could still get revived by your other friends. Um, <clears throat> so if you guys haven't got the DLC for Black Ops 2 I would really recommend getting it even though I haven't got it myself. Other people have said it's brilliant. I've seen videos and it looks really good, and I really want to get it. But first, I have to get my Xbox Live as well. And this has been Full Time Menace, and it's the end of the commentary. Please leave a like and a comment.